Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, July the 31st, entitled, Nothing in Common. Now, Sunday morning I read, as we talked about the early church and some of the great things that God was doing, and yet we saw that it wasn't a perfect church, even in those early days. Now, one of the high moments was right after the day of Pentecost. In Acts 2, starting in verse 44, it says this, All the believers were together, and they had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone that was in need, and every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all of the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. They held everything in common. They watched over the poor. But then we get to 1 Corinthians eleven seventeen, and we have a much different story. It says, in the following directives, I have no praise for you, for your meetings do more harm than good. In the first place, I hear that when you come together as a church, there are divisions among you. And to some extent, I believe it. No doubt there have to be differences among you to show which of you has God's approval. So then, when you come together, it's not the Lord's Supper you're eating, For when you are eating, some people go ahead with their own private suppers, and as a result, one person remains hungry while another gets drunk. Don't you have homes to eat and drink in, or do you despise the church of God by humiliating those who have nothing? What should I say about you? Shall I praise you? Certainly not in this matter. Now, what happens from everything in common to nothing in common? I believe it's life. You know, when we lose focus of why we do what we do, our own human nature begins to kick back in. I'm sure the people who were celebrating with their friends at the, uh, at the, uh, the Lord's Supper in their church didn't even pay attention, didn't even notice that other people were going without. They were all with their friends. They were huddled up doing the thing that they do. And that's one of the things that churches are accused of all the time. They're clicky. Well, Human nature is to like attract like, or friends tend to group with friends. And if we're not aware that we have a bigger mission than just coming and getting our own needs met, this is what happens. We go from having everything in common to having nothing in common. And there is no praise in that. The church is supposed to be the place where everyone has the opportunity to grow, to learn, Even here at God Why, we struggle with that. It's so easy to come in and and be so involved with friends and what's been going on to realize that there are people possibly standing in the hall that don't really know anyone, maybe brand new. And it's not that we go, we we don't want to talk to people. It's just that we don't even pay attention because our focus isn't on what is my call here today. I have lives to touch. I want to be a part. I want to make a difference. The moment that our human nature comes in and it starts being about us rather than being about Christ, we will suffer the same uh, problems. We'll have the same issues. It is about Christ. And when we come together, we need to be looking to go, do we have everything in common or are we sliding toward nothing in common? So let's pray. Father, I pray that you would open our eyes. That, Lord, uh, especially here at our church, that, Lord, we would constantly have our vision out for who might be overlooked, who needs a word of encouragement, who needs uh, to uh, have a relationship or friends. And, Father, uh, I just ask that you would open our eyes, that we would never become callous or cold or uh, missing the understanding of the opportunities that are before us every time we come together to encourage, to bless, to strengthen one another. And so, Father, we ask that you would open our eyes, that we would not overlook, that we would not miss what is going on, what is around us. And that, Father, when we have hearts to to hear, when we have eyes to see, when we have a desire to be your hands and feet, Lord, I believe you're going to instruct us and you're going to open our eyes and you're going to help us to see what needs to be done. And in that way, the body will be a place where we have everything in common. Lord, let us be those people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, be praying about that. Tonight, you have the opportunity to put it in place here on Wednesday night. 
If you want to help out with the four-year-olds with me, come on over. You can hang out. Look forward to seeing you soon. Lord bless.